a lot to you in this video we've got an assignment where uh, we're filling in the cost chart um, based on a specific firm here uh, we've been given part of the information we need to fill in the rest okay now there's some questions down here that are asking about what numbers can't be calculated so um, you're never going to have a marginal cost at quantity zero because marginal cost represents the change in cost from one unit to the next. And so there'd be nothing here at, at zero. So this is like an NA here. And then uh, what numbers will equal to zero? Well, these numbers will actually be like undefined, okay? Um, right here. So you really can't calculate those because whatever the fixed costs are and they're actually 100, but it would be 100 divided by zero, so that'd be an undefined number. Um, the average variable cost will be zero divided by zero, also undefined, and then average total cost will be 100 divided by zero. So you, you can't have any numbers here at these. Um, and is there a difference between these two questions? I suppose uh, one of them is that the, these numbers are undefined, and then this number uh, doesn't represent, or rep there's nothing to compare it to. So let's fill in what we've got here in our spreadsheet and it's here okay and then we're going to graph it we're going to create a graph here so we've got fc stands for fixed cost vc is variable cost tc is total cost mc marginal cost afc average fixed cost avc average variable cost atc Average total cost, just as a preference, I like to make them bold. Okay, now Excel is smart enough. If you start the pattern, zero, one, two, three, oops, not like that. Just highlight the first couple there and then bring it down to 10. Okay, uh, let's fill in what we know. So we've got, we've been given that, we've been given the average total cost of one unit. We've been given the average variable cost of the third unit. We've been given average, sorry, marginal cost of the second unit. We've been given uh, variable cost of the fourth unit and also the seventh and also the eighth. And then we've got the ninth unit's marginal cost and then the sixth unit's uh, marginal cost also and then finally the average total cost of the tenth unit okay these are also money so it might help if we tell it that they're money and then the way to tell Excel you see how it's uh, got those pennies there I'll make that wider so I'm just double clicking on the top of the column there and it double clicks and you know, it might look nicer here if we make those centered. Okay, uh, I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit so it's easier for you to see. Okay, so fixed cost is the cost that doesn't change. Okay, so when we don't produce anything, our variable cost will actually be zero. So I can actually fill in uh, that the fixed cost equals uh, the 100. So fixed cost plus variable cost will always equal total cost. Total cost is the total short run cost. So this isn't going to change, so we can just copy that all the way down. Except that didn't, uh, oh, it didn't work because it's linked over to that. Okay, so you have a couple of choices here. One thing you can do is tell it, uh, I'm going to put dollar signs in front of that function. I hit the F4 key on my keyboard, um, but you can just copy that all the way down or you could just type in 100 if you wanted to okay next thing we can do uh, remember what I said fixed cost plus variable cost equals total cost so this plus this equals that and then I'm going to copy that function hit control C copy it there copy it there and now I've got that part okay uh, these will be NA um, and then just the same same deal all the way across here Okay, um, all right, so next one, we've got average total cost of the first unit. And so the average total cost is this number. It's the total cost divided by quantity. 
So if I want to de-average it, take this number and multiply it by the quantity, which is actually one, so I can do that in my head, and I'll just put the number right there. Okay. Uh, now, this plus this has to equal that. I'm just going to type it in because I know what it is. It's 30. Okay. Now, the marginal cost represents the change from in total cost. So now it's also the change in the variable cost. They're the same thing. So, so 0 to 30 would be... Um, would be 30 and 100 to 130 is also 30 so that's 30 okay and then that means that the next unit is this plus this so you could actually write a formula like that this plus this uh, it would be 150 and then you could also write a function that goes like this this total cost minus that and that gives you 50. okay uh, and actually we can do the average variable cost now so it's just Whatever this is, so 100, divided by that quantity, and we're going to copy it all the way down. And you can see it's decreasing because that's what average variable cost, is, or sorry, average fixed cost is going to do. Average fixed cost, we're keeping the numerator the same, increasing the denominator in the, in the equation, and it's going to uh, decrease forever. Okay. Uh, we can also do average variable cost here. So it's this divided by your quantity. And then uh, this one is this divided by the quantity, okay? And then average total cost, you've got a choice. You can, if you want, you can add average fixed cost plus average variable cost. That'll give you average total cost. Or you could just take the, the total cost and divide it by the quantity. That also gives you average total cost. I just copied that formula down there. Those numbers will change as we fill in. Uh, what's over here? Okay, um, I'm going to de-average the average variable cost. So it'll be this 20 number times the number of units. So that would be 60. And then you can just copy that formula right there. Except that didn't that didn't that isn't right. I don't know why it copied copied that way. What we really want is this one plus this one. Okay, let me make sure this is right. Uh, oh, because that was, okay, I got you. And that's the same thing there. Okay. Um, all right, now the marginal cost here is 10, but if you wanted to write it as a formula, you could take this minus this, and it's actually divided by the change in quantity. That's the marginal cost formula. Um, but we don't need to do that because it's dividing by one. If you want to divide it by one, you, you certainly can. So that's marginal cost there. And then our average variable cost would be this divided by the quantity. Okay. And I think we can copy that formula down too, and that'll start to update as we get uh, more there. All right. Uh, what am I at? Number five. Need to know something about number five. Let me look back at the chart here. Oh, the chart. I forgot, I guess I forgot to fill this in. It's uh, 185 is this. Oops. And so that the difference there is 85. And I can copy this right here. Okay. And now I know the marginal cost of the next unit is 25. So what that means is it's it's this plus 25. So that's 210. And then I can, although I can do this in my head, this minus this gives us the variable cost. Okay. Now we can go this minus this. Same thing here. And just check the math there. And that's good. And then this plus our marginal cost gives us 330. I can go up here and copy this function here that way I don't have to do it again uh, and then down here I've got the average total cost so it's that Oops. times 10 and then it's this minus this and one last thing the difference in cost there and now I've filled in the whole table okay all right, so now we want to graph this. We're going to just have Excel do it. And I don't care about 
this this part right here i care about the first unit so i wonder if i'm gonna oh no something was linked to that so i'm gonna actually hide it i'm gonna right click and hide it and then highlight the whole thing and i'm gonna hit insert and i want to pick a chart and i kind of like that one but if you want you can use the one where they're straighter it's up to you like the smooth one Okay, and we're going to call this uh, cost curves chart, um, I don't know, graph, whatever you want to call it. Now, I've got some extra junk here. I don't, if, if I'm doing the cost functions, not the, not the average cost functions, but just the cost functions by themselves, then that is uh, this one here, the total cost the fixed cost and the variable cost. But typically we don't graph those. So I'm gonna just, just click on the data in the table and you can delete it and it goes away. So nice. So now I have um, I have the, the dark blue one, which is average total cost and it's picking up that NA that we put in there. Uh, and then I've got the green one, which is average variable cost. I've got the blue one, which is average fixed cost. Now, average fixed cost is just declining forever. It's also not relevant in terms of my decision making. So I'm also going to delete that. If you want to keep it, you can. That's fine. Uh, but now I got rid of it. So these are the typically the three cost curves that we care about in economics. And so now I want, uh, I've got a little bit of goofiness with uh, with this, let's see if I unhide this. What happens if I just delete it? delete those numbers? Ah, just fixed it right there. Okay, great. And then uh, if you want to change the scale of your graph, you know, right click right here, go to format axis. And then instead of two, I want it to go by ones. Okay. And you can change a whole bunch of things, but I just want it to go by ones. And if you want it to change the color, you can right click right there and you can change like I think you can change all the colors there if you want whatever you want to do it's up to you um, all right marginal cost is, is yellow um, we do that's gonna yeah that change the change the line to red a little easier to see and uh, what we can also do is we've got this the table there. We can add data labels if you want. You could add them right there. Not everybody likes to do that, but this is kind of cool. And then if you want to change the axis here, I right clicked on that axis. Instead of 20s, let's change this to 10. Uh, I do want the minimum to be zero. That's good. There we go. And now you've got a pretty nice cost chart. If you don't want those, you know, colors to be orange, you could change them to purple or whatever, whatever color you want. And you just mess with that. But that's how to graph a cost curve after making uh, all of that cost data, and you've given been given half of it.